I'm Denise Austin. Taking good care of yourself means twice as much now, both for you and for your baby. During pregnancy, a regular exercise program is an important part of feeling healthy. Like you, I had some questions, so I went to my doctor for advice. Oh, hi, Denise. How are you? Sherry. Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ready? Doctor, is it safe to exercise while you're pregnant? Yes, for any normal woman in normal pregnancy, it is safe to exercise. The way to define an abnormal pregnancy would be by the previous pregnancy history or any complications that are occurring in the current pregnancy. It'd be the major ones, severe bleeding, abnormal uterine contractions. What are the benefits of exercise during pregnancy? Well, Denise, as you know, pregnancy is a nine-month workout and it requires a great deal of stamina. So any exercise program that increases your stamina will clearly benefit the nine months of your pregnancy. Labor is called labor for a reason, and if you enter it with uh, uh, strength and uh, muscle buildup uh, control, no, no question the individual will function better. With the pregnancy hormones and the loosening of joints, pregnant women may be more liable to strain or to accidents so that muscle strength and uh, improvement in this area is helpful too. When during pregnancy should a woman begin exercising? I usually encourage her to begin sometime towards the end of the first trimester, the, about 10 to 11 weeks. She may be over most of the discomforts of the early part of pregnancy. The Fatigue that's commonly seen at that time may be abating, and this is probably the best time to begin. Although, in the earlier part, it's still a good idea, if she has been exercising before, to maintain some kind of a level of activity so she doesn't have to restart her entire program. If you've never exercised before, is this a good time to start? Yes, this is a good time to start. The advice that I would give is to discuss this with your physician or midwife, and then plan to develop some kind of a structured exercise program where there'll be guidance. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommends the following guidelines for exercise during pregnancy and postpartum. Strenuous activity should not exceed 15 minutes in length. Do not exercise lying down after your fourth month of pregnancy. Make sure to consume enough calories to compensate for your pregnancy and exercise routine. Be sure to drink plenty of liquids before and after exercise to avoid dehydration. If necessary, interrupt your workout to replenish your fluids. Try to maintain a regular exercise routine rather than just working out sporadically. Avoid vigorous activity during hot, humid weather or when you have a fever. Avoid jerky, bouncy movements. Avoid activities that require jumping, jarring motions, or rapid changes in direction. Monitor your heart rate during peak activity periods. Your heart rate during pregnancy should not exceed 140 beats per minute. If you have not been active before, begin your new exercise routine slowly, gradually increasing intensity and activity level. Stop your activity if any unusual symptoms occur and consult your physician or midwife. On this tape, you'll find two complete workouts, one for while you're pregnant and one for after, when you'll really want to get back into shape. Each workout includes a warm-up and stretching, low-impact aerobics, muscle toning, a cool-down, and relaxation exercises. While you're pregnant, you'll have low energy days and high energy days, so listen to your body. If possible, you should try to work out three or four times a week. The back, abdominal, and pelvic floor muscles are stressed as pregnancy progresses, so it's important to be aware of these muscles during any physical activity. Many of the common discomforts of pregnancy, especially back aches, are caused by poor posture. To look and feel better, let's check our posture. Think of a straight line down your body, starting with your neck. Don't let your chin jet out like this. Keep it in line with your shoulder. Now the shoulders, don't let them roll forward. Keep them relaxed and back. Now your lower back. 
Make sure you don't arch the lower back. Tuck it under, do a slight pelvic tilt, and your knees should be semi-soft. Pregnancy puts a lot of stress on your abdominals and back muscles, so a pelvic tilt can help improve your posture and relieve back pain and stiffness. To do this, contract the abdominals and the buttocks while you gently tilt the pelvis forward, rotating the pubic bone upward so the back flattens out. The pelvic floor, also called Kegels, are the muscles located between your legs that are attached to the pubic bone in front and the tailbone in back. These muscles support the weight of your baby and uterus during pregnancy. To keep them strong, try to do a few contractions several times a day. Now to understand how to tighten these muscles, think of squeezing the muscles you would use to stop the flow of urine. One last thing, pregnant women tend to dehydrate quickly, so be sure to drink plenty of water before, during, and after your workout. We're working out with Sonia and Doris. They're both expecting for the second time. This is my first. Well, let's begin. Think about good posture, check your posture. Ready, and take a nice deep breath. Inhale through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. Ready again, a real deep cleansing breath. And exhale. Now, good deep breath for the baby. Come on, inhale. And exhale. Now, round the back and stretch out the upper shoulders. That's it. And stretch it out. Good. Feel a good stretch in the upper shoulders. One more. Feel it stretch. And open up. And then shoulders. Get into it now. Come on, use your legs. Use your thigh muscles. Warming up the whole body from head to toe. That's it, stretch it back. Open up those shoulders, come on. Couple more. No more shoulder tension. Great, now stretch it back. Full circles all the way. Open up the chest area. That's it. The muscles in the chest tend to shorten during pregnancy. So you gotta stretch it out. Take it back, way back. Keep your back straight. Think about good body alignment. Very important. All the way back. Last one. Here we go forward. Here we go. Reach. Reach. Take it forward. That's it. Great. Hug your baby. Using those abdominal muscles. Last one. Good. Okay. Shake it up to the side. Get into it now. Both hips are facing forward. That's it. Do a slight pelvic tilt. Think about those pelvic floor muscles. Squeeze and tighten. And to the side. Here we go. Reach it up, up, and back. Flex your front foot, warming up your lower legs. Very important for good leg circulation. That's it. Reach up, back, and to the front. And in the front center. To think about centering yourself. Get your back straight. And to the other side. Here we go. Reach it. Good. Up and back. You're doing great. Keep it up. If this is too hard with your arms up, just relax it. Just do what you can do. Listen to your body. Think positive. Last one. Good. Take it forward. Relax. Instead of your back, to lift your baby. That's it. It's important to use the proper technique in doing a plie. First of all, make sure that your knees are slightly bent. Turn them out and never let your knee go past your toe, keeping in straight line with your ankle. Lift up and never lock your knees. Always keep your knees semi-soft. And one important thing is to keep your back straight. Never let it arch. Do a slight pelvic tilt forward. Last one, hold it there, hold it. Now pelvic tilt, tilt, release. Tighten the abdominals, release. Tight, release. Back and strong, that's it. Pelvic tilt, tilt your pelvis, that's it. You can do it, come on. And 
and tilt, release, tilt, good. Last one, good and relax, pump it up now. Lift up through the diaphragm, giving your baby some room to grow. And breathe. That's it, reach higher, higher, great. One last one, okay, deep breath, inhale up, and exhale out. Then stretch our neck from head to toe. Beginning here, and relax. And to the other side. Smile, you'll feel so good after we're done. That you did you and your baby some good. One last one. That's it. Build your self-confidence. And let's stretch the arm. Hold on, elongate the neck. Feeling a great stretch for the arms and shoulders. That's it. Give yourself a pat on the back for doing this with us. You'll feel great. And switch to the other arm. Hold it first. That's it. Hold it. Giving yourself a good stretch. And now give your baby a little pat on the back. Great. Okay, relax. Hands on your upper thighs for support. Hold here and lift up, warming the lower back. Up and release. That's it. And up. Tighten the abdominal muscles and release. Don't arch your back here. And tighten up and release. Now let's do a Kegel. Hold, squeeze the pelvic floor muscles right here. Lift up, up, up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Release and do it again to really isolate those muscles. Try not to use your buttocks. Use the pelvic floor muscles, the vaginal walls. Hold it and release. Roll up. Let's stretch our calves. That's it. Both feet are facing forward here. Hold the stretch. Stretch in the back of your lower leg. And down. Slightly. Remember about your knees. Not too much. Just slightly. Feeling the hip flexor stretch. Okay, to the other side. Lift up and calf muscle stretch. Hold. This is a great stretch to do if you're prone to leg cramps at night. This is a great one. And go all the way down. That's it. Hold, doing a good stretch right through here, the hip flexors. Okay, are we ready for aerobics? Let's begin. Side to side. Woo! Use your arms. Now, during the low impact aerobics, do the best that you can do. If at any time you feel tired, just relax the arms. Up, forward, two, good, and side. Use those arms, come on. Use the body, good. We're starting gradually and bringing your body up. That's it. Keep it going again. And up, two, three. And back, two, three. Up, two, three. Great. Back, two, three. Get into it. You got it. Do the best that you can do. Ready and Charleston. Ready and touch, tap, touch, tap. Good. You got it. Think about your pelvic floor muscles. Contract them up. That's it. Don't let them sag down. Ready and big arms. Get into it. That's it. Come on. You can do it. You'll feel great. Lift up. Great. Couple more. And four. Here we go. Lift. Good. Use those arms. You can do it. Side. Bend the legs. That's it. Forward. Beautiful. Smile. You're doing great. And walk it forward. Two, three, back two, three, up two, three, back two, three. Come on, get into it. You can do it. Woo! You'll feel good. Ready, Charleston. Keep it going. You can do it. Get into it. Come on. Work those arms. That's it. Now use those arms and lift up, down. Broadway, here we come! Woo! That's it, a couple more. Good, side to side. Side. You can do this, this is easy. Just side steps. That's it, breathe. That's it. Good. And now, great find the side. Out. Good, out. Use your legs. 
when doing the grapevine step, it is important to keep your hips facing forward. Think of your hips as headlights facing in front, working side to side, keeping them in front. When you twist or turn sharply, you could hurt the round ligaments that are the bands that support your uterus and baby. You can do it. One arm out and out. That's it. Stretch it. Beautiful. Keep that back straight. Good alignment, good posture. That's it. Good. Both arms. You can do it. Just stretch them out. Good. One more. That's it. Last one. And forward tap. Forward. Forward. That's great. Now arm side. Side. Woo. And front. Use those arms if you can. If not, I give you permission to take it easy. Up, two, three. Keep it going. That's it. Charleston. Touch. Tap. Good. Lift your body. Think about good posture now. You can do it. Modify your workout whenever you need to. That's it. Good. Keep it going. One more. That's great. Okay, let's find our pulse. Ready? Keep moving in place. Ready? Count. I hope you got between 19 and 22. That's great. That's your target heart rate. If you're over 23, you overdid it. So take it easy on this one. Okay, let's begin marching in place. Get those knees up, come on. Do the very best you can now. Remember to modify at your own pace. This is a little too hard. Just relax your arms. Drop them down below shoulder level. Okay, let me see those knees pumping up. Come on, those arms. Let's see it. That's it, come on, pump it, pump, great, you can do it, that's it, now get those arms nice and strong, motherhood is very demanding on the upper body, lifting that baby and all the baby equipment, that's it, and to the front, good, the other side, I really want to see you pump those arms, use those thighs, use the legs, you got it, good, you can do it. Again, working those biceps. Press. Shake it out. Shake it out. Take a breather. Inhale and exhale. Good. Just relax now. We got more. Shake it out. That's it. Okay, arms up. Ready and pull. For the lats. Come on. Upper body workout. Lift and pull. Lift. Pull. You got it. Pull harder. Good. Think about those pelvic floor muscles. Contract them. Do a kegel right here. You got it. Contract. Release. Good. And pull. That's it. Exhale. Inhale. Pull. That's it. Exhale on the effort. That's it. Back straight. Little ones now. That's it. Little ones. No more bra overhang. Come on. Increase the amount of workout up there. Tight. Tight. Okay, take it easy. Relax, relax. Take it back, stretch it out. You did great. Wonderful, stretch it out. Think about it, take a breather now. Inhale, exhale. Good, chest, bring it in and out. In 
step out. In, out, pull. Initiate this movement from the chest. That's it, come on. Strengthening those pectorals, our chest muscles. Very important while we're pregnant to lift those breaths. Good. Your breaths do get a little heavier. So pull. Use your chest muscle. Initiate it right there through the chest. Come on. Improve your posture. You got it. Two more. One. Now pull them back. Pull. Cross. Pull. Now this is for the rhomboids. You work the upper back. That's it. And relax. Try to get the shoulder blades together behind you. That's it. If this is too much on your arms, just relax the arms. Continue moving. That's great. Pull back. Good. Shoulder blades. And pull. These muscles become weakened while you're pregnant. You don't want your shoulders to start to slouch forward or round. It strengthens. Last one. Good. Hold it. Hold it back there, little ones. Okay, stretch it out. You did great. Stretch. Stretch. Feel the whole body. Lift the diaphragm. Make room for baby. Got it. Beautiful. Now lift the heel. And upright pull. That's it. With the trapezius muscle, if you can. Lift. Lift. You're doing great. Think about the pelvic floor muscles right here. Contract them. Pelvic tilt. Last one. Arms out to the side. 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 Lift. Hips are forward now. Forward like headlights. Good. You're doing great. Smile. I'm proud of you. Arm in front. With the deltoid. That's it. Lift. Lift. Couple more. Up. Up to shoulder level. You can do it. Great. Two more. One. Two. Okay, march in place. Find your pulse. Ready, count. Pay attention to how you feel. If you're too winded to talk, you're overdoing it. Remember to stay below 140 beats per minute. That's 23 in a 10 second count. Keep going. Ready, side to side, side and side. That's it, use those arms. This one's a little lighter so you can do it. Take a good deep breath and exhale. That's it, modify your workout according to how you feel now. Come on, you can do it. Smile, we're gonna burn calories, feel better. Think of how much better you and your baby will feel afterward. Good. That's it, take it forward now. Slide it up like you're ice skating forward. Good, and rock it back. Pregnancy walk. Good, hold it ready and forward. Two, three, four, and rock it back. You can do it, woo! Good, forward, good. Run, that's it, and rock it back. That's it, release the tension off the back. Forward. Good, and rock it back. Great. Ready, side to side. Side to side. That's it. Hands on your hips. Just relax. Remember those hips. Face them forward as if they have headlights. That's it. Let's make sure you're doing this exercise correctly. When you go down, make sure you use your thigh muscles, down and up. This is for your legs, not your knees. Keep your knee in line with your foot. Your knee should never go past your front toe. Make the legs do the work. Slightly lean your body weight to the back. Side to side. Now doubles. Here we go. Side and side. Use your thighs. Great. You're doing good. Keep it up. One more. Add the arm. That's it. Lift it up. Stomach is in, think of those pelvic floor muscles. Are they tightened, contracted? Lift them up. That's it. Inward and upward. Great. Last one inside. Inside. Use 
push your arms, little ones first. We'll gradually pick them up higher. Here we go, woo! Up, up, that's it. Good. You're doing great. Up, breathe. That's it. Relax the arms if this is too much. Remember working from the center. Think of those tight abdominal muscles. Hugging your baby. Good. One more. Feel it. Side to side now. Swing it. Swing it. That's it. Hips are forward. Slowly bring that heart rate down. Ready. Slide it up. Up. Good. Rock it back. Ready. Pregnancy rock. That's it. And slide it. Slide it. That's it. Good. And back. Last one. Ready and out to into. Use your calf muscles here. Down, up. Can you add your arms? Here you go. Out to into. Out to. Really use those thighs. You'll need your legs. Come on. Not your back. Good. Down to up to. Down to up. Last one. Good. And side. In. Side. In. Working on those inner thighs. Become weakened with the hormones through pregnancy. Down and pull. Down and pull. This is too much. Just take it easy. Modify the deep knee bend. You don't ever want to go too low. Stay right here. That's it. That's good. Last one. Good. To the side, too. Down, down. Oh, good. You got it. Oh, using the thighs and buttock muscles. They help firm up that lower half. We all need help there. Last one. Good. Hold it. Lift. Hold it. Lift. Let's take our pulse right here. Ready? And count. Now to get down on the floor. Use your hands for support, legs apart. Reach down, that's it. Reach your hands to the floor. Use your arm muscles, not your back. Slowly sit down, and let's begin our abdominal workout. Sit up nice and tall. Ready, inhale, and exhale. Again, and inhale, and exhale. Let's make sure you're doing it correctly. Place your hands right on your baby. That's it, inhale. And as you inhale, let it expand. Let that baby grow. And exhale. And as you exhale, let it contract. That's it, hold it, tighten it up. Hug your baby with the abdominals. Ready, and inhale. And exhale. You got it, good. Inhale. And exhale. Now hands here for support. Inhale. And exhale, and again, inhale. Expand the abdominals, exhale, contract, and that's it. Strong abdominals are very important to release the tension from the back. That's it. Again, inhale, and exhale. Tighten up those abdominals, very important. Okay, release, sit nice and tall, and let's relax down on our pillow. Just lie on your side. Get ready to do the oblique exercises. Place your hand behind you. Ready, and up, and down. And up, feel it on the sides of the waistline. All these abdominal exercises are great exercise to do to release the tension from the back. Get you ready for labor. Those are some of the muscles you'll be using. Lift up, last one, just one more. You can do it. Lift up, hold it, hold it, hold it. Great, and relax the body. Let's begin some leg exercises. Lift and lower, up and down. You're welcome to relax your head down on the pillow. Reducing the neck tension, that's it. Up and down. Keep it going, using your outer thigh muscles, come on. This also trims the hips. An area we all need to work on, especially during our pregnancy. Two more. One. Two.
two. Okay, relax. Let it stretch. Place your foot in front. Elongate this muscle. That's at the hip area. Elongate it, fold it, stretch it out. Good. Okay, grab hold of your foot or ankle and stretch the hip flexors and the quadriceps in front of your thigh. They get very tight during pregnancy. Hold it. Try to push the pelvis forward. That's great. Okay, relax. Let's walk ourselves all the way up and switch sides. Place your pillow onto the other side. Let's work on that other side of the obliques. Here we go. Lie down. Ready and lift. And lift. And lower. You should start to feel it right here. As you come up, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Come on, really feel it. Lift it up. Make it work. Okay, take a breather. Let's work those outer thighs. Up, down. Relax your neck muscles. Let the legs do the work. No more saddlebags. Here we go. Down, up. You got it. Lean your body weight slightly forward so you really feel it in the outer thighs and the hips. That's it. Down, lift, down. Last one. Okay. Rub it out right here. Stretch it out. Elongate it. Let that muscle stretch. Beautiful. You're doing great. Okay, stretch the quadriceps, hip flexors. If this is too hard for you, don't do it. That's okay. Just hold it. Contract the buttock muscles. Squeeze them. Squeeze the buttocks. That's it. Okay, relax. Then slowly sit up. Walk yourself up. Very slowly. Just do the best you can. Sit up nice and tall. Clasp your hands behind you. And then stretch the shoulders and the chest. slouched shoulders or rounded shoulders. Posture is very, very important while you're pregnant. That's it. Hold it up, hold it, hold it. Stretch, smile, you've done great. We're almost over and you did it. You did it for you and the baby. Okay, relax. Let's stretch out our hamstrings, reach your foot forward, hands to the floor for extra support, and stretch forward. Lock your knee here. You never want to overstretch while you're pregnant. Hold the stretch, that's it. The joints do soften. That's it, you don't want to overdo it. Okay, switch legs. The other leg. Try to keep your back straight. That's it. Using your hands for support. Find a good stretch in the back of your thigh. The hamstring. Walk yourself up and let's relax. Head cool down and do some active relaxation. Place your head all the way down in your pillow. Let's close your eyes. Make yourself completely comfortable on your floor or mat. Let's relax the muscles that you've just worked. Focus on breathing through your nose and out the mouth. Move the old air out and move the new air in. Think about sending clean air to all the parts of your body every time you breathe. As you exhale, feel the tension and the air leaving your body. And then breathe in all fresh new air. As you exhale, feel your breath move down your arms, past your wrists, past your hands and fingertips. Let go of any tension there and just relax. Slowly inhale now for the baby. Relax your abdomen, your buttocks and your pelvic floor. Feel that relaxation move into your uterus. Visualize your baby warm and happy floating in the amniotic fluid. If there are any tense areas still left in your body, adjust your position just to help them relax. 
Now exhale slowly out the mouth. Inhale and relax your thighs, your knees, your calves, your ankles and feet. Feel your body sink slowly into the mat. Breathe in clean air. Just relax and feel at one with your baby. Enjoy this quiet moment together. Slowly open your eyes. Slowly get up using your arms for support. And on your hands and knees. Let's relax the back by lifting up the back, round the back. Chin your chest and look at your baby. And relax. That's it. And one more time. Up. Look at that baby. Stretch it up. Okay, relax. Slowly lift your body up. Place one foot in front. Hands on your upper thigh for support. Lift your body up. Inhale up. And exhale out. One more deep breath. Come on, inhale. And exhale. And give yourself a big hand. You did great. Now give your baby a giant hug. When your baby finally arrives, you'll be busy with feedings, laundry, diapers, and comforting. Kelly certainly keeps me on a full schedule. Being a new mom can be very demanding, so put aside some time just for yourself every day. Before long, you'll be wanting to get back into shape. So here's a great workout designed just for you. But before we begin, let's visit with the doctor for a few important questions. Doctor, when should you begin exercising after giving birth? Denise, assuming you had a normal delivery, I'd have you begin exercising approximately the day after delivery. I'd have you begin exercises in bed, doing simple passive exercises, pay particular attention to the pelvic floor exercises, and then slowly and gradually build up over the next two to three weeks to a level that would be approximately the same as the level prior to your delivery. And what if you had a C-section? With a satisfactory recovery after a cesarean section, I would wait a little longer. If you normally would start with a full activity after two weeks with a vaginal delivery, you may want to build up more slowly and be at full activity at about four weeks. When can you start doing aerobics again? For an individual who has done aerobics before delivery, I think it's key to listen to your body. Begin slowly, listen to your body. You probably can begin about two to three weeks after the delivery. What are the danger signals for a woman exercising postpartum? Well, remember postpartum is a period is a very stressful time. Postpartum depression is not uncommon, so that exercise is an excellent way to combat this. And I think that if the individual watches her fatigue level, makes sure that she gets whatever adequate sleep she can obtain while caring for a newborn, watches the pattern of her bleeding, and also mo monitors other signs such as temperature or unusual pains. These would be the major things to watch out for. Is there any additional advice you would give new mothers? I think I'd tell them, Denise, pace yourself. Be realistic. Your body is a lot smarter than you think it is. Everybody says you use common sense. Don't set too many tasks. Don't try to breastfeed quadruplets. Congratulations, you've had your baby, and so have we. Doris had a little boy named Tyler eight weeks ago, and Sonia had a little boy named Seth four weeks ago. And I had a little girl named Kelly four weeks ago, too. Let's begin our workout. Stand up nice and tall. Think about your tummy. Is it tucked under? And let's begin. Inhale and exhale. And inhale through the nose and exhale. Come on, a couple more. Inhale and exhale. One more. Real big. Inhale and exhale. Ready and stretch. Forward, side, for the neck. That's it. Head to toe workout. Great, and relax the neck, stretch that arm down. That's it, elongate it. No more neck tension. I know we get that while we're feeding our baby. That's it, come on, and down. 
Relax that neck. Beautiful. And lift with the shoulders down. And lift. Higher. Come on. Relax. Good. Last one. Beautiful. And lift the body up and down. Thighs. Come on. Warming up those leg muscles. And use your thighs one more time. Good. And press your back. Back. You got it. Use those arms. Your back is straight. That's it. And lunge. Lunge. Side to side. You got it. Last one. Good. Now work the arms. In and pull. You got it. Last one. Good. And relax and lift the legs. Squeeze the buttocks. Here we go. Squeeze the buttocks. Side to side. That's it. Good. And point the toe. Here. Squeeze your rear ends. That's it. Good. Now lift the arms. Squeezing. Come on. Again, side to side, 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 tummy in. Good, use the legs. Squeeze the buttocks, you got it, and push it out. Beautiful, push, good, and relax now. Use those arms, and use them side, side. Now work it to the side. Is your tummy in, great. Up and down, up, one arm, here we go. And reach it, down, lift it. Good, and to the side and around. Warming up the back, side, add the back legs. That's it, and squeeze the buttocks. Good, hold it there, tuck under. Ready, and down, and up, down, and up. Last one, stay down there. Now pump those arms, come on. Biceps, biceps, good. You got it, ready, and stretch it out for the calves. Draw it in, and let's stretch out our hamstrings. Hands placed on the opposite thigh. Don't lock the knee and flex, point, flex, point. You got it. Good. Couple more. Good. Now hold it there. Hold it. Beautiful. To the front. Let me see that smiling face. Work the buttocks. That's it. Take it down. Good. And exhale. That's it for the abdominals and lower back. Tuck it under. That's it. All the way down. Tuck it under. One more. Down. And roll all the way up. Roll up. Roll up. Beautiful. Ready? Work it side, side, side. That's it. A couple more. That's it. Now reach. That's it. Lift and go. One arm. Come on, really feel it. Pull it. Use those arms. And forward. That's it. One at the back. At that leg. You got it. Squeeze the buttocks. Beautiful. Tuck under your hip. Ready? Down. Up. Back is straight. Stomach is in. The knees are 90 degree angles. You got it. Last one. Now hold it. Hold it. Good. Pump those arms through those biceps. Come on, let me see them. Good. And stretch those calves out. Stretch it out. Beautiful. Draw it in. Let's stretch the hamstrings. Very important. The back is straight. Try to feel like you're sticking out your rear end. And flex. Point. Flex. Point. You got it. You could do it. You're doing great. Couple more. That's it. Last one, and hold it. And let's take it forward, round your back. One vertebrae at a time, come up. One vertebrae, slowly, your head is last. Let me see that smiling face, and inhale. And exhale out. Okay, relax the shoulders. And now we're gonna begin our aerobics. Remember, during the whole time, do the best that you can do, and pace yourself. Ready, let's begin with a good little march. Lift those legs. That's it. Come on. Pump those arms. You got it. Pump it. Ready? Sideways. I want to see those legs pumping, those arms working. You got it. Come on. Harder. Stomach in. Forward. Come on. That's it. Ready? And one, two, three. One, two, three. Come on. Get into it. That's it. Beautiful. You got it. That's it. Last one. Now we can pour. Ready? One. Use your legs, use your 
Use your arms. Hug it forward. Up, two, three. You no longer have to keep your heart rate below 140 beats per minute because you're no longer pregnant. So try to get your training heart rate zone. Here we go. Now don't stop. That's it. Pump it up. Come on. That's it. Ready and start. Let's scoop it. That's it. Scoop and clap. Scoop. That's it. Use your legs. Really feel it. That's it. Ready and forward. Forward. Good. And back. Use your thighs. That's good. And forward. And back. That's it. Take it forward. Woo! And take it back. Use your legs. Really feel it. And take it up. That's it. And rock it side. Side. Use your hips. That's it. Come on. Use it. Tighten up the whole body. That's it. Take it back. That's it. Good. Side, two, use those hips. Come on, tighten up the rear end. Tighten up the pelvic area, take it forward. Good, rock it out. Beautiful, really feel it. Use your thigh, use those hips. Come on, trim the whole second half. That's it, good. Again, rock it out, rock. Feel it, feel it. Good, again, one more time. And we step it out, singles. And here we go, singles. That's it. And pump it out. Pump, pump. Keep it going. Side. Use those arms. Use those legs. You got it. Is your tummy in? Beautiful. Good. Last one. Then we add a march. One, two, march. Good. Again. Yeah. And pump, pump, march. Ready? Last one. Start all over. Here we go. Slide it up. Up. Use your legs. Yes, come on, really feel it. Squeeze the buttocks too. Squeeze it. Good. Tummy tight. Take it back. Good. 
Ready, rock it, start. Start. You got me. One more time, rock. In singles. That's it. And sing. That's it. And pump it out. Pump. Pump. March. Good. Pump. Pump. March. Again. You got it. March it out. One more time. And pump. Pump. March. Take it forward. Right down. You got it. You're doing great. That's it. Hip rocks. Come on, work those hips. That's it. Take it back. Smile. We're burning fast. And pump. Good. Work those hips. Couple more. That's it. And single. Single. That's it. Good. And we'll get out. Pump. Pump. March. Two. Three. Pump. Now we're going to add. Anila. Here we go. Ready? Anila. Up. Good. You got it. The back is straight. The tuck is in. Good. That's one. And pump. Pump. March, two, three. Knee lifts. Up. Up. Good. Again. Pump. Pump. March. Good. Knees up. Up. You lift those knees. Good. That's nine. Woo. And march and punch. Knees lift. Up. That's it. Keep it going. A couple more. Real high. That's it. Stomach in. Tummy tight. You can do it. Take it easy now. Let's just let the heel drop down. Ready and breathe in. And out. That's it. Right and up. And down. One more real deep. Inhale. And exhale. Just relax. And let's stretch it out. Ready and stretch the calf. Beautiful. Hold that stretch. And stretch your hamstrings. Good. To the other side. Stretch out those calves and hamstrings. Feeling a good stretch. And come on up and let's take that recovery heart rate. Ready? Dig in. Now that was our recovery heart rate. Let's make sure your heart rate is below 120 beats per minute before we get down and do our floor work. But if it isn't, walk around a little until it's down to 120 beats per minute. Before we begin the abdominal segment, it is important to check for the separation of the recti muscles. Let me show you how. Lie on your back, bend both knees, take a nice deep breath, inhale, and roll up and exhale, and place the two fingers horizontally just above the navel. Press into the abdominals. If you should find that this gap is more than two and a half finger widths apart, we should work to close this gap. And this is how you do it. Place one hand on each side of the abdominals. Inhale. And as you roll up, exhale, pulling those hands together to help close the gap. Again, inhale. And exhale, pull the hands together. You should continue to work this until the gap is closed. Remember when we were pregnant, we practiced our Kegel exercises to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles? Well, they're just as important to practice now to restore those muscles. So let's begin working our Kegels. Lie on your back, and let's begin. And squeeze, two, three, four, and release. Two, three, four, and squeeze. Two, three, four, come on and release. Two, three, Four. Again, really feel it in the vaginal wall. Come on, and squeeze, and release. Two, three, four. One more time, come on, really feel it. Squeeze it in, there, squeeze it. Good, and release. That's it, release. Okay, clasp your hands behind your neck. Now you should do those Kegels every day, about 50 times a day, actually. You could do it while you're feeding, driving, anything. Now let's begin, inhale. And exhale, pelvic tilt. Again, and inhale. And as you exhale, contract the muscles right through here. Ready, and inhale. And exhale. One more, good. And inhale. And exhale, flatten it out, flatten it all out, flatten it out, good. And let's begin our abdominal work. Ready, and up. Two and down. Two and exhale. And inhale. Two. Up. Two and down. Two. Using those 
abdominals. Come on, really feel it. That's it. Up, two, and down, two. Now while you're doing this, if you still have that rectus separation, place the hands and work it to close the gap. That's it. Right like this. Here you go. Hold those hands. Cross them over. Press it together. One more time. And up, two, and down, two. Now hold it up and in, up, release. Up, release. Just up and in, chin down. Really feel it. Stay up there. That's it. Stay up there. Tighten that tummy. Come on. Down, up, down. Lift, down. Really feel it. Come on. The elbows are slightly back. Chin is up. That's it. Feel the tummy. Come on. Feel it. Two more. One, two, and release all the way down. Ready, and up, two, and down, two, up, two. Remember, keep that back. All the back on the mat. That's it. Good. Press the navel down. Last one. Pivot. All you got. Ready and up. Two and down. Two. Okay. You did great. Stretch those arms over your head. Stretch. That's it. Stretch. And one side. Stretch it out. Oh, does that feel good? And stretch it to the other side. Beautiful. Now clasp one hand behind you. Ready for all fleets. Ready and up, two, down, two, and side, two, and down, two. For the waistline, up, exhale, down, two, and up, two, and down, two. While you're doing this, make sure that your hips stay flat on the floor. That's it. Good. Last one. One more. Come on, give it all your butt. Good, and relax. Switch hands, the other side. Ready, and up, two, and down, two. Now, if you still have that rough dice split, don't do this exercise. That's it. Continue doing the sit-ups so that it goes straight up. Up, two, and down, two, and up, two, and down. Remember, exhale on the way up. That's it. Stomach is flat, come on. Two more, we got two more to do. Ready? One, good, one more. Come on, you could do it, I know you can. Last one, beautiful. Okay, stretch out those arms. Stretch out the abdominal muscles. You did great. Beautiful, beautiful. And slowly relax, slowly relax. Okay, let's bring those legs together. Let's work on the buttocks. Bring the legs together, hands relaxed. Ready, lift up. Two and down. Two and lift up. Squeeze and down. Two again and squeeze, squeeze, release. Two. One more time. Squeeze, squeeze, and relax. Good. Now hold it up there. Squeeze it all you've got. Now, right here, I want everyone to squeeze the buttocks. This is tightening up the torch. Come on, squeeze it, squeeze it. Squeeze the legs together to work the inner thighs. Okay, and release. And up, squeeze, tighter, 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 and release. Beautiful, again, lift up, lift up, hold it, hold it. Squeeze your knees together, working the inner thighs, working on those hips, the lower half, we all need to work on, I know, I can relate, and release. Okay, now squeeze, and release. Squeeze, release, tighter, good. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Stomach in, make it skinny, especially the lower half. That's it. Squeeze, release. Last one, then we hold it up there. Squeeze, tighten, tighten. Scoop under the tummy. Make it skinny, make it real skinny. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, come on down. Good work. Bring one leg up towards your chest. Then stretch out the hamstrings. We worked on the back of our thighs. You felt that? Good. A little more towards you if you can. Feeling an excellent stretch in the back of your thighs, the hamstring muscles. Good. Rotate your ankle. Doesn't that feel good? Think about it right now. Is your tummy flat? That's it. All the time during workout. Make sure you think about that tummy. Or at any time. Okay. Bend the leg. Cross it over. Stretch it out a little. 
and let's bring the knees towards the chest to get a, yourself a good buttock stretch. That's it. Hold it. Take a deep breath. All right, let's switch legs. The other leg comes up. Stretch the hamstrings. Hold it up. Hold it. Now elongate your neck. I don't want you to hunch your neck up like this. Make it long. Every vertebrae touching the mat or your floor. Rotate the ankle. That's it. Rotate. Beautiful. That's it. You're doing great. Doesn't it feel good to stretch? Oh, I love it. Okay, and bend the leg. Bring your knee up towards your chest. Hold it. That's it. You should feel a good stretch in the back of your thigh and the buttock muscles. Hold it there. That's it. Bring your knees to your chest. That's good. And roll to the side. And then slowly, progressively roll up. Stand up nice and tall. Bring one knee up. Stand up tall, stomach in. Good. Stand all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. One more, real deep. Come on, inhale up. And exhale. A deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. I'm proud of you.